Hello and welcome to another video for SATMAPS. Um, today's topic is radical equations. Um, we are going to start off with easy questions. Let's see question number one. It says what is the value of x? Now there are two ways of doing it. One is that you could you know sort of square both sides and you know sort of try to solve it. The easy way of solving these questions is by plugging in and then solving. So you take an answer option and you plug it in. But if you have these calculators, I think this calculator should also be able to solve this directly with the solver um, that I have here. Okay. So let's see if it works. Okay. Um, let's give it a value to start off with. Let's say I give it the value 72 divided. 72 divided by 11 and see if it balances my answer. Let's say start with 6.64 and I ask it to execute. It's giving me uh, an answer as 8.44. I don't know if it's going to be able to change the format of this. So let's check if we can change the format of this. Um, and I don't think I can. So let's go back and see if we can convert the answer options into seeing which one is 8.44. I think 77 divided by 9 should be 8.44. No, that's not 76 divided by 9. Yep. So that's the final answer. So you see, using the calculator was easier than doing it manually. It says John wants to find the square is root 44. Okay. Now I know that the diagonal is basically this line and a square has equal sides. I could use the Pythagoras theorem or if I remember directly from the lectures, D is equals to S root 2. Okay. So I could use the Pythagoras theorem or I could say that root 44 equals to S root 2. Then that's root 44 divided by root 2 equals to S. And whenever you're giving these answers, uh, you have to make sure that you Give your answer to two decimal places. That's what the requirement might be on the grid space that you have. So I get 4.69. What is the length of one side of the square? I think it should be 4.69. Okay, it says 4.7, uh, although it doesn't say what number I have to round off. So let's see what it says here. This round of decimals answers only go up to the hundreds. Okay. Which is fine. We'll just write 4.7 in the next answer after. Okay. This question, again, I can do it with the solver. I can also do it manually. Let's try to do this one manually. Okay. But I can also do it with the solver. Just like I did the previous one. 10 minus 110. So that's 99 over 10. So it's 30. Okay, 99x. It's 99 into 20. It's 1980. So minus 1950. Divided by 99. Let's see if we get the right answer. Okay. Negative 650 over 33. Then it says, what is the actual uh, speed of the stream if a motorboat takes two hours to travel upstream? Time is two hours and covers a distance of 15 miles at a speed of 15 miles per hour. The distance is 15 miles. And speed is 15 miles per hour. Okay. 
uh, and what is the actual speed of the stream? Okay. So if the stream has a speed of x, okay. If the boat was traveling at 15, it would take one hour. But since the boat is traveling slower, I'm going to say that speed equals to distance over time. The speed is 15 minus x. I'm still covering a distance of 15, but I have a time of 2. So 30 minus 2x equals to 15. I think that should work. And the answer should be 7.5. Let's check. Yes, that is the correct answer. Question number 5. Sophie has a square garden. The length of the side of the garden is root of 3x squared plus 4. Uh, the area of the garden is root of 7 by 7. What is the value of 4x? So area is equals to s square. Area is root of 757. And 3x plus 4 squared. The so root of 757. Okay. Then root of 77 minus 4 divided by 3. Change the format 7.83 uh, multiplied by 4. Thirty one point two. Since it was asking me the value of 4x, okay? I think there'll be more easy questions. Let's do these. Um, a pendulum has a speed of t equals to 2. What is the length L of the pendulum if the gravitational acceleration is this? The formula is t equals to 2 pi root of L over g. Okay, length is something that I want to find. So 2 pi root of L is something that I want to find, 9.8. So 2 over 2 pi. Again, I could do all of these equations on my solver, but I am just doing these manually so that anyone who doesn't have this calculator can also follow. Um, where is pi? The pi is here. 2 divided by 2 pi. Now then I have to square both sides and then cross multiply with 9.8, 9.8 basically. So squared multiplied with 9.8. I'm getting 0 0.99. Okay, which of the following is the correct way to solve the equation? This it says square both sides and simplify and solve for x. Subtract x from both sides, then um, square both sides. Now, if you subtract x from both sides, that might not work because then you're going to end up. Right now, the main idea is if you have a root isolated on one side, you can just square it and get it done with. Um, again, add 4 to both sides, no. I think the first one is fine. Yeah. Okay, which of the following steps is an error when solving the equation? This subtracting 1 over x minus 4 from both sides to obtain this. Finding the common denominator. Now, let's see what the common denominator is. Yes, it should be x minus 4 and x plus 1. Okay, 2 should get multiplied with, um, I, I think there's a mistake in this 3 that I see, okay. I think that's also fine. Cross multiplying both sides to obtain. Uh, if there was a zero on the other side, the cross multiplication wouldn't give you that. Now, since I haven't solved this myself, I should first solve this to see if the steps are correct. Okay, that's the first step. The second step was this. 
2 times x plus 1 plus 1 times x minus 4 minus 1 times x plus 1 equals to 0. So 2x plus 2 plus x minus 4 minus x minus 1. Okay, so plus x minus x cancels out, 2 minus 4 minus 2, so 2x minus 3 over this. So only step 4 is incorrect, I think, yeah. The rest of it was fine. Okay, uh, which of the following is an error when solving these equations? Multiplying both sides by x minus 3 to eliminate the denominator. Yes, that's fine. Cross multiplying both sides to obtain, uh, no, this is wrong because when 4 gets cross multiplied, it's going to multiply with 1. This is an error. Question number five, which of the following is the correct way to solve the equation this? Okay, subtract two from both sides, simplify and solve for x. Cross multiply, simplify and, no, uh, find a common denominator. I think that should be the best way out, yep. I think it's going to repeat the questions once more because I got one question wrong. This had to be 4.7. Uh, I don't know, it's marking it wrong. I think there's a space there that I missed again. This one was 76 divided by 9. This one was 650. I remember all of these answers now. 7.5. The repeating, so I know the answers. Okay. 31.2. 31.2. Let's see if I can get this correct this time. 4.7. Finally, 0.99. This one was correct. Only step 4 was incorrect. This one was incorrect. Okay, I think that should be the end of easy questions. No, it's still not the end of easy questions. Forgot. Um, I didn't read the question. Storm won't let me level up till I get all of these correct. Point nine nine. I think I should be done now with the easy questions. No, still not. I don't know what's going on, but let's just quickly stun with. <clears throat> yep, okay, that's the end of easy questions. I will be back with more some difficult questions in the next video. Thank you for watching.